First, we're working the latest in a wave of violence in Nigeria, targeting churches on Christmas morning. The radical Islamist group is taking responsibility for a series of blasts that killed 39 people yesterday. Tonight, the attacks are hitting close to home for Rhode Island's Nigerian population. Many still have family in the country. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell joins us now live in the newsroom with the local coverage. There are thousands of local Nigerians here in Providence, and tonight that community is calling for an end to the violence. Kane Diadumi owns the God is Able African Market in Providence. In between customers, he checks online for the latest news about Nigeria's tragic Christmas Day church bombings because he still has family there. The reaction has been, what kind of life is this? What is going on? When has Nigeria become uh, Iraq or Afghanistan? We don't want that. We don't need it. You know, Nigerians, we are peaceful, loving country. Um, we want to see ourselves as such. But on Christmas Day, Nigeria was anything but peaceful. Bombs exploded in five cities, killing at least 39 people and injuring dozens more. A radical Muslim terrorist organization called Boko Haram has claimed responsibility for the attacks. Something has to be done. The, the government is not doing enough. Now there's renewed fear that the violence will continue. Everybody is in panic because it can happen any, any part of Nigeria now. Jacob Alakwea's family in Nigeria was safe from the attacks. Still, he worries about the African nation's future. People went to church to go and worship God, only to find their death. I mean, it's, you know, it's incredible. Last Christmas Eve, extremists carried out similar attacks which killed 32 people in Nigeria. Live in the newsroom, I'm Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.